And we are live. What's going on, everybody? Frank Rutt for Responders here in front of Iron Culture in New Jersey having a, our, our second uh, open gym event. Great turnout. And I am here with... Nick Rochetti. I'm here with Nicholas. Nicholas, tell me, why are you here today? We're here to, today to raise awareness for mental health and physical health within the first responder community. Iron Culture was nice enough to open up their gym for us. Like Frank said, this is our second Reps for Responders gym meetup. We had a great turnout today. A lot of people are in there working out, getting after their goals and crushing it. I like that. I like that, Nick. Uh, what did you do in the gym today? I, I was actually in here, I actually saw a nice little PR today. Uh, I worked on some back, and uh, I hit a PR for a trap bar deadlift today, a 6'12". Woo! We're in the sixes, kid. Look at that. Recovery is possible, and that shows it right there. I got one question for you before we wrap up. If you, if you took your phone out right now, okay? You open up your contacts, and you called yourself from the past. When you're in the academy, what would you tell that Nick in the academy? So as a former first responder, I think it's important to let everybody know, a former first responder here, but I would tell myself in the academy to keep your pride, keep your ego at the door, listen to the people that love you, listen to the people that care about you, take their advice, and just know that it's okay to ask for help if you're struggling with your mental health, with your physical health. No one's gonna care, all right? The most important person that you need to take care of is yourself before you can be a good husband, boyfriend, wife, sister, brother, mother, whatever it is. You got to take care of yourself first. Thank you, Nick. Very, very honest answer. Appreciate your support. Appreciate all your help you do for reps you got it, brother. For your, with yourself and being a great friend. Thank you. you got it, We're live. Round two. Frank here. Didn't change my name yet. And I'm here with Stephanie. I'm here with Stephanie. Stephanie rocking the... Uh, the, the the new uh, and improved uh, reps, uh, what would you call that? It's a crop top. Crop hoodie. top. That's on Christina. Yeah, that's on Christina. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, why are you here today and are you a first responder? Yes. Um, so I am a active uh, police officer. I work in New Jersey. I am here today to uh, support Reps for Responders. It's a great organization that gives back to first responders. They've been with me through my whole journey of, uh, you know, mental health struggles and just trying to be a better person for the job and for life, so. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for all your help and all your support and doing what you do. You. Uh, I got one question for you. Sure. If I said, Steph, take your phone out right now. Yes. Go into your contacts, and I want you to call the Steph when she was in the academy. <laughs> what would you tell her right now on the phone? I would tell her to never lose, lose sight of why she chose the job in the first place. Um, my answer in interviews was I always enjoyed helping people. I lost sight a little of that a little bit. Um, comes with the job. You see a lot of bad things. Um, start to look at the world a little negatively. Um, but to stay grateful and humble and uh, remember that you chose this job to help people and you can really do a lot for one person, even if it's only one person in a day. So. Beautiful answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you. everything you do. Thank you. And we'll see you at the next one. Sounds good. Thank you. And we are live. We are round three right now. And I am with... Steve Iacuzzo. Big Steve. Steve, where do you work? Patterson Police Department, New Jersey. Patterson. Getting down and dirty. And why are you here today, Steve? To support uh, Reps for Responders, which has been a big influence in my life the past year and a half. Well, thank you for being here, and thank you for your service with Reps and on the job. One question for you. I said, Steve, go in your pocket, take that phone out, go to your contacts, and for some reason... You have your older self, the version of you when you're in the academy. They're about to wrap up the academy right now. What would you tell that, Steve? Uh, that's a, well, it's a long time ago, but uh, I would tell myself that uh, to don't always um, go with the, don't always go with what everybody else is doing, and be your own self and have your own opinions and. Uh, decisions and not that you know you know and you know take that with you and take each each day one day at a time it's in this job it's like sobriety you just take the job one day at a time one day at a time you heard it steve thank you brother appreciate it and we're still going round four i'm here with brad wadby big brad brad where do you work i'm a detective at the bergen county prosecutor's office and brad why are you here today 
here to come out to support reps for responders. Obviously, my, my workout gear, uh, I was with my kids all morning, but I just wanted to come out to support the cause. So I'm a firm believer in, in uh, what reps for responders stands for and uh, how it's helping first responders uh, get over uh, um, substance abuse, addiction, and uh, PTSD. Thank you, Brad. I got one question for you before we wrap up. If I said, Brad, take your phone out, pull out your contacts, and for some reason, you have the older version of yourself in the academy. Right now, you can call up Brad in the academy. What would you tell that Brad? And like I said before, you got about a week to sit down and talk about this, but uh, the one thing I would tell myself is don't let the badge become my identity. Uh, and I did that. I got sucked into it. I... Um, and I care too much about the job and not enough about myself and my, my, uh, my family, you know, my, uh, my ex-wife, my two boys, I neglected them for, for many, many years and neglected myself. And, uh, that's one of my biggest regrets in life and, uh, not taking care of myself, both, uh, mentally and physically. You know, I was a, you know, big gym guy, uh, always was from playing D1 football. Uh, but I did not take care of myself mentally. Right, I let uh, I let everything get to me, and ultimately it resorted uh, to me um, going to going to the bottle, and uh, was a uh, an alcoholic in recovery, four years sober, and uh, thankful for that. But you know what? To be honest with you, I would not change anything because I am who I am today, and for the first time in my life, I actually love myself for who I am today. Very powerful stuff. Thank you, Brad, for your honesty. Thank you for all your support and being with Reps since day one and yep. being a great brother. Thank you. Same here, brother. Thank you. God bless. Round five. We're still in it. We're going strong. We ain't leaving. We ain't fucking leaving. I'm here with uh, Nick Tallett. Nick, another Nicholas, Nick Squared. Uh, where do you work? Are you a first responder? I am a first responder, uh, former fireman from the state of Arizona. Wow. So, yeah. And tell us why you're here today, Nick. Uh, I'm here because uh, I used to struggle mental health, other issues, and uh, what Frank's got going here with Refs for Responders, and you know, being at gyms and all these fundraisers, it's there's nothing better than working out with guys that you can bond with on completely different levels than you know just working out. Um, we've all gone through similar stuff and all gone through a lot of different things, so we can learn from each other over. A workout and it's there nothing beats it beautifully said beautifully said i got one last question for you all right if i send nick pull out your phone go to your contacts and all of a sudden you're like holy shit i can call nick myself to when i was in the academy so if you can make a phone call and tell your younger self when you're in the academy what would you tell that nick oh i would tell that nick to just keep his head down and work on himself. Don't get distracted by the outside world. Don't get distracted by others who you think are your friends. Um, find the true meaning of what you stand for and focus on yourself and your life will be a lot better off that way. Amen. Nick, thanks for being here, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate thanks for your service and appreciate it.